Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim and hailing from Phoenix, Arizona. Introducing Merciless, Jose Benavides Jr. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner in this 12 round attraction, wearing green trunks with black and white trim, proudly fighting out of him, representing his home. Call it under the white, right here under the letters. Tap it up, let's go to work. Round number one. Coming off the longest layoff of his career, known for that. And early on, we're seeing him try to get Benavides talking with him, and he is right now. His uh, reaches, we want to see how this. Out of Frank Rojas, he has eight first round KOs. Gone here in the first round. There's no combination upstairs for. This, the one, two. And there's the a. Early. Garcia has sometimes been a slow starter. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Pavel Miranda in 2009, although you talk to Garcia, the body, he says, hey, it's the skills and not necessarily. Talking about power uh, for Benavides, he's gone the distance. Another one. Right hand in the... Put the, the questionable draw. Uh, you, uh, 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 and you don't use the term prodigy a lot. Yeah. Combination Benavides. And always approaches the fight with fearless plan. Opening three minutes of this 100 and Al Bernstein's key. <laughs> to Does Angel talk a lot? I, I never <laughs> noticed that. It is the uh, Garcia's the second round. Uh, Danny right. Garcia, you know, stop. three in that last round, and that's important for him. Round we don't know, but it's been a, it was a good round. And there, the puncher at 140 yeah. and 147, and of course, never. Yeah, it started out with against the mere common Rob Lucas yeah. Matisse, oh. and still is astonishing. He has taken big punches. A nice little rhythm that he's got going, make, making sure that the timing is right. And the second round after again, stock. Garcia, just over a minute. Making sure he doesn't do that, get it with a big counter punch. Them side by side, I mean, just so much bigger and standing right in front of Garcia, the right hand. So the timing's there for Garcia. The tattooed Benavides. The Benavides bars with one of the most fearsome punch, and he is standing by with our Jim Gray. Round number three scheduled for 12 in his last fight. And for Danny Garcia again, first time. Garcia is uh, normally at 50%. He's been very active. We've already talked about the timing, the counter punching, but the so Benavides. Oh. That was a nice right hand. Little old right there. Fruits of his labor while they were still right. Anxiety and while he didn't see therapy, he learned the younger version of himself taking more risks. Well, really good work down. Now he's, he, he wants to pick it up upstairs. He Benavides, he stared us in this, the middle part of the round. And that right hand, that overhand, Ryan Garcia. There's a. We begin round number four, scheduled for 12. Danny Garcia sets up the jab. He, he gets the rhythm, the overhand right, the straight to the body. I mean, it's. Is that Jeff? It's Garcia, Al. Yeah, I mentioned that. Now Benavides, he needs to let, let go of his pocket with him There's at this juncture. The jab again, the jab. Last fight, he was overthinking his punches, and I think. Uh, and now it's it, it's almost an activity. There's that right hand that landfill. Named his first daughter, Philly. Has another daughter on the way. First. Under minute left here in the fourth, and Garcia. It's different. And yet Benavides. Oh, wow. not also That right hand. Landed right in the chin for Garcia. Stunned early in their fight, but he's never been down. He is steep. Thrown by Danny Garcia. <laughs> we are through four in Brooklyn. Okay. Round number five. Garcia's jab. Garcia. Recent punching of Garcia has been effective, really yes. effective. Well, again, the jab sets up those punches. Oh, what? Benavides, the right hand. Benavides is not throwing as many combinations. He's using that jab effectively here in the fifth. Followed up. There's Garcia, lateral movement on the ropes. 
And he says enough of that. Double go. He read both the body languages from Benavides. Crowd in Barclays and Bourne, but then back comes Benavides. He knew he was going to be rough. Sixth round and Danny. You know, so uh, De Benavides has to they had the same quality to it. Throw your hands. See, so throwing more, obviously landing more. Mm -hmm. Benavides needed to use the jab, but Garcia's throwing. Yeah, he's taking control with that jab. Body shot there, but guess what? Garcia came back with this. Himself. It's just a Gar that's what Garcia's known. Crowd trying to continue to over. Yeah, he needs a... a, a, a In uh, for many reasons, but that body work is part of the right hand, and he came back with his own. It's Danny Swift Garcia. Garcia, of course, Jose Benavides Jr. would like to room out Charlo. That was a great overhand by Garcia. He did. He landed a shot. You, you yeah. got to land your own shot. What our unofficial scorer, Steve Farr, that scored it at, at the mid. Barring, he's stepping to the left after he lands. He's not eagle in New York City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's impossible. See, when he wants to, can give you great oh, movement. Yeah. This Matisse many years ago and show us a dimension that his hands go. He's mm -hmm. overthinking it. He's, and he's, he's the effort. He's standing right in front of him. Yeah. Garcia's letting his hands go. Yeah. Referee seen it. Diversifying the attack and Benavides. Hmm. And there's that again, Abner going to the... Doubling with that jab upstairs, downstairs, changing it. Nausea, yeah. but man, Benavides, no move. Later stages of the seven, but Garcia continues to put together the... Looking for his seventh win here in Brooklyn, and there's a... The, the, the things that's, all, you know, depressing, if you look at a good record after that, but he's only been 12 rounds, three times. He's got a punch. That's just as simple as you can put it. It's just, keep doing the same thing. There nice exchange, a fight. Brain Farhood has Danny Garcia pitching a shutout on him. These are essentially 247 pounders in it. What we have seen in this fight is yeah. that he is... It's that Garcia does bring in name value. In a bigger fighter, period. Better be this way in. The body. Mm. Consistence to do so with Danny Garcia. You know, we've seen by the... Oh, Ooh. cuffing right hand by... But Garcia goes to the body, left hook to the liver. Brother Jose, we are through eight rounds. Carlo. All right, Steve Fundora and Erickson Lubin with the one. Make adjustments and make them fast. To initiate mm -hmm. the attack. Danny yeah. Garcia doesn't have to worry about being a... ...against Benavides, and he, he has done that. Right in. So he's yeah. enjoying his success, but needs to throw more, and he's doing it. He really is. And, and you know, he's not facing it. There's Benavides. Yeah, he's really good round for Benavides. Yeah, just, yeah he's got to be first. He's got to get something to throw over 1,000 punches as success. But Danny Garcia continues to use that jab. than he has had in recent rounds. Yeah, that's, that's his problem. He. he he has like this he stands right in front of Danny Garcia. There, a right hand by Garcia. Nice right hand to the another sharp jab from Benavides. Mm -hmm. Victory to come true. He is gonna try to get right back into it. There's a right hand over the top. 64 body punches. Tonight the body not been there tonight. In round nine, the first round of the fight. Them again here, new weight class, both looking. There's a triple. Yeah. He did not follow up with the right hand. And with the left hook, as we've seen on many. At a really good distance, right there. Steps right there, oh, there are no angles. And not, to, yeah, again, yeah, repeatedly. Yeah. He got really nice, good right hand. While Garcia closing yeah. in on one. Benavides. Jabs to the body, but Garcia Benavides, you know, throwing more punches, but Garcia's the, the hand speed. I mean, there's a, an elite fighter, 140, 140. Yeah, don't give it to him, Danny. Keep giving it to him. Round number 11, landing Benavides at a two to one clip. And that was a great start for Garcia. Talked about two years out. Likewise, a very good performance. And again, you temper it. He's certainly trying, and he's had good moments. Jay Benavides Jr. And Garcia. He used to deliver shots to the body, each and every one of them. Yeah, he's doing the right thing, Garcia. He's staying up. Uh, three and 12 rounders, only losses, 12 round distance. Gage.
engine yet. He, I mean, showing he wants yeah. to get, but hasn't. Uh, and, and, and give Benavides an opportunity to know he's going to box. From class, and, and yet the rest of the division into the 154-pound pool here tonight. That's a, get the ring rust off. Yes. See, and he's technical. It is a family of. Can't get this round up. You're winning, Danny. Last round, last win. round. No matter, You're doing well. Okay? You're doing well. Twelfth and final the round. The Jose yeah. Bindle, some of that magic. Seven years later. He only stunned once in his whole pro career. Hey, but anything. Well, and yeah, Danny Garcia. Much as we, we chronicle, I mean, even this, instead of yeah. nodding his head and telling him, you're not hurting me, but just not being able to react. Uh, up, and they both continue to get his tongue out at Benavides before. Stuck, he stuck to the plan. Three punch in their own commentary. And you said an important word. This fight, he has. I don't see the urgency from Benavides. And when you. you Garcia, much to the delight of his crowd, at 154. The show well received. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a majority decision in favor of the winner, Danny Swift.